Members of the opposition parties in the House of Representatives yesterday staged a walkout over a bill seeking to raise the ways and means cash advances from 5 to 10 percent. The walkout came as a plenary after an amendment by the minority leader, Kingsley Chinda, that the ways and means be reduced to 2 percent was rejected. Section 38 of the CBN Act 2007 provides that the advance by the Apex Bank in the form of ways and means must not exceed 5% of the previous year's revenue of the federal government. Chinda moved the amendment during the consideration of the report on the bill at the Committee of the Whole, saying this will enhance transparency in federal government spending. The report proposed raising the ways and means advances from the existing 5 to 15 percent. Chairman of the Committee on Finance, James Faleke, however, opposed Chinda's amendment, urging the House not to go below the 5 percent in the Act. For us to move on, we need to move up. For the issue of transparency and accountability, the Committee on Banking and Currency has the responsibility to oversight, he said. Contributing to the debate, Ibrahim Isiaka, a lawmaker from Ogun State, supported Faleke's position, proposing that it should be raised from 5 to 10 percent. On his part, former Deputy Speaker of the House, Idris Wase from Plateau State, moved a motion for an amendment that 10% should be maintained. Benjamin Kalu, the Deputy Speaker and Presiding Officer, appealed to members for understanding in view of the recent increase in the minimum wage of the workers, saying the government needed more money. Consequently, he called for a voice vote on Wasse's amendment motion. The nays were louder than the IAs, but he ruled in the favor of the IAs. This provoked the lawmakers who loudly expressed their dissent with a repeated no. It was at this point the lawmakers, the opposition lawmakers led by Chinda, walked out of the plenary. Subsequently, the report was adopted and passed for third reading. Recall that in May 23, 2023, the Senate approved 22.7 trillion Naira Ways and Means loans, thereby securitizing the debt, following a request by former President Mohamed Buhari on December 28, 2022, asking the lawmakers to do so. In January 2023, former President Muhammad Buhari told the Senate it will cost the federal government about 1.8 trillion naira in interest if National Assembly failed to approve the 22.7 trillion naira in extra budgetary spending. Ugochuku, what is your take on this story? Joma, anything that concerns Nigerian economy does not impress me anymore mm -hmm. because. Um, we don't see how these monies that have been earmarked and those humongous amounts that have been mentioned are affecting the lives of Nigerians. Because um, if you look at what Nigerians are passing through, you'll be asking yourself, you know, where are these monies? What are they using these monies for? You, remember, you recall what uh, Mohamed Buhari asked in December 2020, December 2022, that uh, they should increase it to, to 22 point something trillion, and uh, his request was granted. But they did follow the due process that they are trying to follow now by uh, amending the act that pegged it at 5%. The answer is no. So those illegalities and all those shenanigans that we see in, uh, once it comes to you know, monetary uh, aspects, in Nigeria is really disheartening uh, to, uh, to, to, to say the least, Choma. Because um, Nigeria is a country that uh, our database and our follow-up mechanism is really porous. Nobody calls you to account. Whatever position you are, whatever monies that are credible to you is uh, like a Father Christmas uh, gift to you. And uh, at the end of the day, nobody calls you to account. For what the, where I want to react based on that particular um, expose is um, the actions of the uh, opposition lawmakers. 
they are, as far as I'm concerned, Ifan Yukuchuku, they have uh, disappointed Nigerians. Just like I said in the other leg of my, uh, my uh, exposition, that um, the beauty of this democracy would have been, as we have gotten, you know, almost a seemingly majority that will go toe to toe in trying to make sure that, you know, people's bills, people's laws are enacted, people's interests are carried along as it comes to any bill that comes to the National Assembly. But what do we see? Chinda should not be fighting for a, a lost cause, Choma. Because in the moment, I keep telling you, the moment they accepted the Greek gift from the federal government of you know, taking a six, 160 million SUV, Choma, they have sold, they, they sold out. So there is nothing they can do. Look at how APC went, went on. They went ahead with the, with the passage of the... This is. So what is the main reason for which Nigerians elected them for different political parties to go and do the representation? The answer is they have failed us. Because if they have walked away like what they are doing now, oh. when the proposal for that Greek gift came up, Nigerians would have applauded them, would have, have confidence that, yes, it seems we are getting what is called democracy in Senate clients right in Nigeria. But what happened? Their voices freezed out. They were, they were nowhere to be found. Those of them, like uh, the uh, who is an, uh, an activist, he lost his voice. He suddenly developed cough and cold. Um, <laughs> Chichinda, who raised the motion now, you know, you know, has, maybe he was not a preview to this, um, this particular uh, pre presentation. Nobody consulted him and gave him whatever quota it is for him to play along. He now came out and started agitating. Are you agitating? But then they said the nays. No, I'm they going to that. that. The people yes, I'm that, to that rejected that, it's there were more. Choma, that is where they are trying to play the opposition. They have played the opposition. It's not about shouting the uh, one person can shout like that and ten people. This is Nigeria, and we know our... When, when I went for a visit in, in Malaysia, Choma, when I was studying, Oyibo people, we call police when Nigerians are arguing. Because of our nature and our, the, the kind of uh, loud voice that we have. Yes. So, if they may have it, it doesn't mean. Hence, they have been angered. You can as well, the, your guess is as good as mine, how they will react. Even if it's one person, we have had, I have seen on, on the Senate plenary, very few people with, um, with uh, when the Senate want to make it, they will be shouting, nay, nee, only few people. But you see that they will drag it and they will make as if their voices will be louder than the board. At the end, you see that clearly they do not have the, have the number to, to assuage that. And once in Nigeria, um, in Nigeria uh, legislature, the, the man at the hems, whether the speaker of the uh, president of the Senate, has interest in whatever bill. After shouting, uh, what makes the bill to stay or not is when he appends his, uh, his, uh, his, his stamp of authority on, the, on, on, on his table. That makes you lose in or lose out. So, was they say nay, because they have been angered, because they have, that is why we are saying, let the electronic, you could see every time Nigerian uh, Senate, Nigerian um, legislative chambers will be undergoing um, refurbishment, repairs, and all that, a lot of money will be voted. Why not them vote money for electronic voting, Choma? See, these people know what they are doing. When I come here and I say it on national television or national radio and say that, they know what they are doing. They don't want it to be the normal way because they will lose out. But for them to continue to hold us hostage and subjugate us, that is why you... Choma, go and make a research and see how much that have been, have been engulfed in repairing and amending the, 
the, any any time a new section comes, they will re they publish. They will stay at home, and the offices will be equipments will be bought and all that. But the commonest thing that will that will be made for the effective le legislation, nobody will bring it. Right. Of a, a electronic voting system. If we had gone through an electronic voting system now, with the, with the opposition, we come out and be shouting, our voices were higher. Do you have any need to tell Nigerians that your, 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 your own is, uh, is really higher?